Hello and welcome, my name is Tiss and in this video I want to talk a little bit about the company RSD and Karma. I want to talk about promiscuity and soulmates. I just want to give a bit of a rant on this topic. Number one, if you've noticed recently uh, Owen, and I have a lot of respect for Owen, um, Owen and his crew, they dismantled the whole you know, RSD franchise, enterprise, whatever you want to call it. Now, the reason why that's interesting to me is that alongside that, I know someone who used to be very promiscuous and he's a bit, we could say he's, he's a bit, he was done with it a while ago, but he dabbles, he get, he, he sort of gets sucked back into that vortex occasionally because he, he's a bit addicted to, to women. Um, but recently I noticed he, he changed his Instagram account, really over, gave it a huge overhaul. He got rid of all the pictures of him being with girls and stuff like that. And I think people are really, in 2020, taking some time reflecting on the fact that promiscuity doesn't pay. Um, and now sex is it's banned in, in the UK. You can't be promiscuous, at least not by law. Don't know how you would for enforce that. but So the truth is emerging. The truth that whenever you have sex with someone, you take on all the karmic debt. Whenever you have sex with someone, you burden yourself with all the karma of that person plus all the people they've slept with. It's, it, it's potentially a huge burden, you know, a huge burden, potentially. If you have sex with a virgin, it's not a huge burden. Um, but most cases, uh, that's not the case. So the truth is coming out in that these companies that, that want to last and these people who want to live on in this way it just it just doesn't work promiscuity doesn't work it was it was a lie that was sold to us it was wrapped in beautiful pa wrapping paper you know i believed it when i was young when i was a teenager i remember thinking that the ultimate experience for me would be to have a threesome you know i really thought that that was the goal to aim at like that was my 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 low standard in life like my highest goal was such a low standard for my soul, okay? Be, be, have a threesome, you know? And then when two girls offered me a threesome shortly after, I said no. By then I already figured out what was going on. I already knew that the game, I already knew that, that, um, that you know, we, we get karma from whenever we have sex with someone. So, so then I was very choosy and picky. I was like, oh, I don't want to, I'm going to have sex with someone. I'm going to have sex with someone who's going to, like, this is the person. I want to marry this person. This person I want to have a long-term relationship with. I don't want to just, you know, I don't want that karmic debt. I, I've got enough karmic debt to, to deal with myself. I don't want to load myself up with someone's karma for that person then to go running to some other guy in the next month or so. So um, I think what Owen and, and Max and all those guys realize is that, you know what, you can't build a company ultimately on, on these lack of ethics and you can't build a life on promiscuity. It just doesn't, it doesn't pay. So men need to learn how to date women. They need to learn how to attract women. They need to learn how to find the right woman um, and attract the right woman, date the right woman. We're not talking about men because what RSD and many other companies were teaching is how do you find just a hot, woman attract a hot, not your woman, not your wife, but someone else's wife, you know, and I'm speaking metaphorically, someone else's soulmate, a woman who ultimately doesn't belong to you. And that's the issue. And, and now the company is disintegrated. And now it's just those guys individually. And I hope that they build something a little more ethical. Um, and I hope to maybe even team up with them one day because they have the audience I don't have. But they don't have the knowledge I have. They don't have the the formula and the wisdom that I have regarding the right woman. Because any idiot can go out there. I mean, you've got all these idiots at high school who get girls at high school, right? I mean, I had girls coming up to me in high school wanting to be with me. I wasn't good in any way, shape or form. I, I was maybe a little handsome, but I didn't have anything going for me. So a lot of guys are so um, stuck on, oh, wow, he got the girl. Yeah, the idiots, every idiot gets the girl. Look, even to Dan Bilzerian, you know, how many 
women has he slept with? You know, and Dan, and Dan gets the girl. Okay, he's famous. Okay, he's famous. He's rich. Okay, rich and fame. But would Dan get the girls if he wasn't rich and famous? So, you know, and, and look, 2020 is the year that Dan went to monogamy. See, and I like that, that Dan, because Dan is probably the, the most um, famous um, ex-promiscuous man in, that we know of, you know, and I like the fact that he turned from promiscuity to monogamy because he's setting an example for everyone else, for everyone else who's thinking that promiscuity is like the best thing and it just doesn't, I know guys who are super promiscuous and they're just, they don't do it anymore. They're over it. Now, there's one guy who, I think that he would do it if he was more enabled, if you know what I mean, but he's already quite old. You can't just expect to, he's not in an age that he can go around and still pick up 18 year olds, you know. Um, so, you know, eventually people wake up to what's possible and wake up to what's ethical and wake up to what's practical. And they're like, you know what? I'll sold a lie. I've got to get off this train as soon as possible. So again, promiscuity doesn't pay. Uh, look, I uh, met a woman who went to Thailand and she went to Thailand and slept with a playboy there. And she told me that um, she could feel all this energy from these other women enter her body while she was having sex with this playboy and she doesn't really regret having sex with him she's just because it's in the past but um she I, I think she would have appreciated knowing the constant the real repercussions of sex um because she, she got kind of got a bit caught by surprise in that sexual encounter uh you know I've approached a bunch of people telling them during sex, karma is exchanged, during sex, karma is exchanged, a bunch of people. In one night, I've approached maybe you know, 20 to 30 groups of girls, and only two of those uh, said that, um, yeah, I, I know that. I, I'm aware that, that um, there's something that stays with me whenever I have sex with someone. So the truth is out. Um, I just wish more people would, would jump on board. Um, George Clooney is fortunately married to his soulmate as Paul Stanley. Also, Paul Stanley would have slept with a, a bunch of women as George Clooney would have. I'm glad that they both found their soulmate. I can't say the same for Jack Nicholson or Lenny Kravitz. I wish that they would um, marry and just get married. I think they're, they're unnecessarily celibate or single. I don't think they're celibate. Uh, I wouldn't allow that. But... Um, Again, all these companies dismantling and these people going from these famous people going from promiscuity to monogamy is proof that this is something that every boy and girl needs to have as their aspiration. Because we're not talking about 60, 50 year old men and women. These people already know that most of them already know that, that, that marriage is, is certainly the way to go. But it's the boys and the girls ages 12 and up that I'm concerned about. These people need to get in their heads that you need to find one person that you share. You want to share your destiny with that person. You have common interests, common goals, common aims with that person. What they do in their private life, you do in your private life. What they only talk about, but in their private life they don't do, you need to keep them at a respectful distance because People will talk a lot of things just to get you into bed. They'll, they'll say things just to get you into bed. Um, but again, God speaks to man in dreams at night. So watch your dreams. God is speaking to you. In your, in your dreams, God will guide you. If you are doing A, B, and C, we can get that into another video, as to who you should be marrying. You don't look, sex without God's approval is arguably the cause of all the problems in this world. And next to that, you might have not lack of philanthropy is also a huge problem in the world because then all the all the money gets congested and concentrated up in the in with trillionaires. It just stays up there, stuck like a brick with the trillionaires. Because when we spend our money, we spend it on manufactured, industrialized products, goods that, that are all made by just a few companies. Um, instead of giving that money away, we, we buy a tenth pair of shoes and a third television set and another cutlery set. 
So, uh, yeah, but back to promiscuity. Uh, promiscuity is the great destroyer of Mother Earth.